Hey guys, Robert with Coastal GX. It is a Sunday evening. Yes, I said evening. I know it kind of looks like it's the morning out here in Port Mansfield. I assure you it is the evening. And what we're gonna be trying for the very first time, we're gonna be doing a little flounder gigging out there, okay? Never done that before, but we're gonna give it a good try this time around with my cousin Marcos, Eric, and my son, Robbie. Let's see how it goes. Hey, man. We're gonna try flounder gigging for the first time. What do you think? Is it a good idea? Yes, sir. Yeah, All right. Not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> Captain, where are we going? What are you thinking, man? Hey, we're, we're, we're going uh, heading south uh, towards the Royal City, see what we can find over there. This gigging business, have you tried it this week? Lately? No, I've never tried it. But, uh... <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> the captain, my primo Marcos, has brought us to the first spot over here. And this is where Eric is going to make his landfall. He's going to be separated from us and he's going to be covering an area over here. So it's going to be interesting to see how he does, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you already pissed him off, Eric. Hello, buddy. You know, listo para la escuela. Bye. My goodness, guys, that's a that's a wreck. <laughs> Looks like Eric's not gonna be hunting on his own. Eric's got some nice company over here. Eric, it's it's un gato. <laughs> we dropped off Eric with his new friend and decided to go to the next drop off. Okay, hubby, good luck, bro. See. Kick some ass, man. That's a big oyster bed right there. We made sure to record both Javier and Eric's position, and we all navigated to the next spot. Okay, Marcos is gonna check to see what the... He already knows that there's a real sharp drop off. It gets deep really quick. But he's gonna check to see for visibility and depth as well. Adrian, Javier's young son, stayed behind at the boat to do some bottom fishing with bait. He didn't have the appropriate wading gear and the temperatures were way too low. So we're at the spot, the first spot for us. We're gonna try to walk this area. My cousin Marcos, he already did a little preliminary investigation here and it seems to be pretty good. By the way, I wanted to let you know that the winds right now are under 10 miles an hour, probably around seven. So it's super tranquil, super beautiful, and uh, it is extreme low tide right now. So uh, as you remember, we have a couple of guys on the other side of the channel, and uh, we're gonna be on the north over here. So yeah, let's see how it goes. If you're searching for one, it could be outside? Si, si, si. Yeah, outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was asking because because it makes a splash and I don't know like See, it wakes up. Yeah. Oh, but you put it straight down, right? Yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight yeah. down. Hey, what about the measuring part? Is that what the tape is at for? Yeah. You just you just, you just kind of like put it low down, yeah. kind of like to yeah. get an idea. Yeah. If it looks smaller than 15 or right at 15, we'll just uh, uh, pass on it to be on the safe side. Yeah. But if it looks big, uh, we'll give yeah. it. Yeah. Wonderful. After a brief tutorial for Marcos, we embarked on what was to be a long night of walking. 
An older and out of shape guy like me needs all the help he can get. If you feel you need help also, listen to what I have to say about the Men Clinic in Mission. Hey guys, I'm back from a five day trip to Big Bend. I'm here at the Men Clinic in Mission. And let me tell you, I had been sticking with keto all this time, but unfortunately, just like any human, I broke keto. Yes, I broke keto, but now I am back at the men clinic getting ready to get back on track. And that is the key thing, guys. Let's get back on track. Always looking out for our health. Robert, happy new year. Welcome back. All right. <laughs> Moises is one of the nutritionists at the men clinic. He helped me get an update on my weight and measurements. He and the friendly medical staff at the Men Clinic will guide you step by step so you can feel strong, fired up, and energetic. But most people set goals for the new year, uh, so it's really easy to motivate people, especially in the new year. But anybody who has off days, the best thing to do is, like I said, forget the past and just live on. You know what to do the next day. Mm -hmm. Just try to stick those, those steps that you've been taught. Stick to it as much as you can and don't feel bad when you when you do relapse because I mean everyone's human, everyone has cravings, just as long as you don't make it a habit. If you're tired of being tired, call the Men Clinic or book your appointment online right now. Tell them Robert with Coastal GX sent you and remember, they also have telemedicine options for your convenience. Okay, our Uber, Marine Uber just picked us up. We had no luck over here. We're gonna have Marco give us a ride somewhere else. All right. Adrian, how did you do, bro? Only five catfish. Catfish? Uh, Why? Oh, good job. Well, you did better than we did. <laughs> we came over here to check on Eric to see how he's doing. Let's see. How you doing, Eric? Don't be scared, Eric. I'm good. <laughs> ¿Le pegaste algo? Did you get anything? Me traje el raccoon. You got the raccoon on the stringer? Oh, very nice. Good job, bro. He's got a flatty. Okay, guys, this is where our second crew member, Javier, was dropped off. So we're gonna see how he is doing. Let's see if he's got, uh, if he had any luck, yeah. just like Eric. Como te fue, Javi? Agarrates uno? Dos? Oh, good job, Javier. Mira nomás. Very good job. All right. All right. So Javier and Eric are now going to team up. They were very successful right now and they're going to continue in this other part right along the edge right here. Okay, guys, we're going to try our luck again. We're in another stretch over here. Let's see how good our eyes are. It is a little soft. By now you should be able to see this aquí se ve lejos o qué? Oh, so you can cover the space. You va bien despacito cuz I'm like trying to Aquí sí, aquí sí puedes mirar lejos, pero Sí. On the grass y todo eso it's harder to see, but aquí you can see it far away. So we should be able to see it all the way over there. You see the pattern, the little the little the outline of the fish or what? This is beautiful right here, dude. Yeah. You know what, bro? All that time, if I would have known about this stuff, yeah. when all those times when we were at the at the East Cut, bro, uh -huh. well, sometimes they were real sneaky, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is also very good exercise. <laughs> What's that, son? It's yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, Looks like yeah. a dolphin is... Was it red? red fish. A redfish really close to shore here. Okay. And the dolphins. Oh my goodness. 
What is it? I think it's a redfish. Guys, it is so interesting. Whether you come out here, you know, you're going to try your gigging skills for the first time like we are. But I don't care, man. You know, whether you catch or you don't catch, we're we're seeing all sorts of cool activity here. Where, right here? That's it? Oh, he's chasing. Yeah. Oh, there's a dolphin. Really close to us. Can you let me sit here? Yeah, yeah, give me a second. Ah, uh, stingrays out here. Move back, son. Yeah, we don't want any of those bad boys. Yeah, that's a red, dude. Oh, yeah, get yeah. Is that a red? Yeah, it's a slot size red. Beautiful. It's probably chasing the... What's that, a dolphin? What is that? Oh, get, 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 chill, chill, chill. Let me get him. Straight down? Damn, we were gonna miss it already. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah? Good job, man. Ah. You see how he went more down in Salio? Guys, I spotted this flat boy in. It's a good one. I was like, Marco, am I? Am I looking at a good one? <laughs> oh, good. Well, hopefully those, there's more out here. Hey, Robbie, you just saw a stingray right now, right? Yeah, it just did. Uh, it was staring at us, but it just uh, went over there that way. I spotted it with the light. Yeah, well, we don't have the protection for stingrays out here, but, you know, at least we have the light and we can more than likely spot them. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go pick up. We're picking up Eric and picking up Javier. Let's see how they did. All right, Javier. Not bad, man. We are so close to the East Cut. The dredge, the dredging project, according to my cousin, it stopped a couple of weeks ago. At least he hasn't seen much activity, but they did leave some of the, I don't know, I guess like a barrier behind me. You can't see it, it's too dark. But uh, yeah, this is where we're hanging out. Well, let's see if we can see it. Huh? You can kind of see it. There's a barrier. So we're on the north side right now. But we're gonna give it a try over here. We're gonna give it one last try to see if we can get any more. It's been a little slow, but it's been action packed. I'll tell you that much. What up, the Ghostbuster? <laughs> Make sure you adjust the light, que no te tan abajo ni tan para arriba, so you won't get blinded by it. All right, good luck, son. Uh, good luck, Eric. Well, uh, what do you need? Uh, oh, the giggity goo. Uh, well, you can use Eric Springer. Okay. Giggity, giggity. Well, Adrian, while we've been uh, we've been uh, out there gigging, what have you been up to over here? Catching fish. <laughs> so you've been guarding the boat, but you've still been catching. Uh, yeah. yeah. What what have you been catching? Um, whiting. Whiting. <laughs> Good job, bro. Adrian wasn't messing around. He's on. Whiting. whiting. It's a good size whiting, dude. That's probably the best one you've caught tonight. <laughs> Good job. You know, woo it's not all about the flounder, man. Actually, tonight it is all about the flounder. Let's see how Robbie and Eric are doing. Eric gigged one more flounder in less than two feet of water. Hey guys, we made it back safely, but let me tell you something. Hanging out with the Primo Marcos, I hadn't, hadn't gone out fishing with them in a while, and uh, if we were gonna do it again, we are gonna do something 
along the lines of get up, get out, do something. You know how we do it. It's always something fresh, something new. I definitely had never done any, um, you know, flounder gigging. We had a good time today. We saw plenty of wildlife. But all in all, we had a decent haul anyway, right? What was it, about seven? Seven flounder. Seven flounder, not too bad. It was, you know, I mean, my first time I was there. I was going to enjoy it no matter what. You know how we do it. But anyway, big thanks to my cousin, Marcos. Big thanks to my son, Javier, Adrian, and Eric. These guys were awesome. Thank you for watching, and uh, make sure you subscribe and check out my merch. Take care.